Looking for the best X870E motherboard for your next AMD build? Stick around, this countdown will help you pick the right one without wasting your money. Starting off our list is the most budget-friendly pick in the X870E family, the Aorus Pro Ice. It's a stylish whiteboard with just enough punch for a solid high-performance build, but it comes in last in our ranking for a few reasons. On the bright side, you still get a decent ADA power setup, support for blazing fast DDR5 memory, and three PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots. Plus, Wi-Fi 7 and USB 4? That's impressive for its price point. Gigabyte also made installation super beginner-friendly with screwless M.2 slots and a tool-free PCIe latch. But let's be honest, it's not all perfect. The VRM is weaker than every other board on this list, and the audio codec is showing its age. Also, PCIe lane sharing can throttle GPU performance if you're using all M.2 slots. That's something to keep in mind if you're pushing a high-end graphics card. So who's this for? If you're on a budget but still want to taste that next-gen performance with a clean aesthetic, the Pro Ice gets the job done. And if you're ready to check prices, I've dropped links to all the boards featured today right in the description below. In fourth place, we've got the powerhouse that is the AS Rock Tai Chi. It's got beastly power delivery and a high end audio setup, but a few design choices knock it down a peg. The Tai Chi shines in VRM quality. With a whopping 24 phase setup and 110 amp power stages, this thing is overkill for any Ryzen chip you throw at it. The board also features robust connectivity, USB 4, 5 gig networking, and even HDMI out from the CPU if you're running an integrated GPU. And that audio stack? It's one of the best in this roundup. But it has its quirks. The biggest letdown is that it only gives you one PCIe 5.0 M.2 slot, with the rest capped at Gen 4. For a board at this level, that's a surprising limitation. Plus, the EATX size might cause headaches with tighter PC cases, and the small VRM cooling fan adds noise and complexity. If you're the kind of builder who loves raw power and doesn't mind working with a larger board, this one's for you. Oh, and by the way, if you're enjoying the breakdown so far, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Next up, we're hitting the sweet spot with the Carbon. It balances features, power, and price in a way that makes it an ideal mid-range choice for most gamers and creators. MSI packed this board with everything you need. Strong VRMs, DDR5 support up to 8400 MHz, and both 5GB and 2.5GB LAN ports. You get two full-speed PCIe 5.0 M.2 drives, USB 4, and even tool-free slots for your GPU and SSD. It's user-friendly and surprisingly premium. It's not without compromises, though. Audio is handled by the Realtek ALC4080. Decent, but not quite on par with boards such as Sabre DACs. And when you start populating every slot, lane sharing can reduce your GPU to times 8 speeds. This one's perfect for builders who want a high-performance setup without spending crazy money or dealing with oversized EATX boards. If you want reliable power and easy setup, this could be your best bet. In second place, we have the Aorus Master, a serious board for serious builds. It brings high-end specs and a well-thought-out layout that performs beautifully under pressure. This board supports super-fast DDR5 memory, has triple PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots, and features USB 4 and Wi-Fi 7. The VRM setup is solid for overclocking, and Gigabyte includes tons of helpful tools like easy latches, thermal guards, and a full 5-year warranty. Still, it isn't perfect. The ALC1220 audio chip is a bit dated, especially for a board that otherwise checks every box. PCIe lane sharing can also be a minor annoyance when using multiple high-speed drives and GPUs. If you're chasing flagship-level performance without completely maxing out your budget, the Aorus Master hits that rare sweet spot between value and power. And finally, at the top of our list, the Crosshair Hero. Asus pulled out all the stops with this one, and it shows in every inch of this premium board. You get everything! Triple PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots, USB 4 with DisplayPort Alt Mode, dual high-speed LAN ports, Wi-Fi 7, and a high-end power setup that eats Ryzen 9 chips for breakfast. And let's not forget the industry-leading audio with an ESS DAC, plus all the fancy extras like onboard buttons, LN2 switch, and polymo lighting. Downsides? Well, it's pricey. Really pricey. And like other boards here, lane sharing is something you'll need to manage when fully populating slots. It also runs hot under load, especially if your airflow isn't up to snuff. If you're building a no-compromise cutting-edge machine and don't mind the investment, this is the ultimate X870E motherboard you can buy right now. 
If you're ready to check out the top picks from this list, hit those links in the description for the best prices. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell so you never miss another build guide or review.